In the following units, I'll show how to simulate a ring resonator in Interconnect, including setting up the simulation, running, and analyzing results. On this slide, you can see an image of a ring resonator with a waveguide on either side of the ring. As light travels down the input waveguide, light will couple into the ring, and as light traveling in the ring circulates, some of the light will couple from the ring to the output waveguide. The transmission is frequency dependent, so it can be used as a frequency selective filter. We will show how to extract the transmission spectrum, free spectral range, also called the FSR, which is the spacing between the peaks in the transmission spectrum, as well as the quality factor of the device. To simulate this in interconnect, we can build it from component parts as shown in this exploded view of the circuit parts, which includes waveguide couplers where power gets coupled between the bus waveguides and the ring, and straight waveguide segments for the remaining portions of the ring. This is in contrast to component level solvers like FDTD, where we model the physical dimensions of the structure and material properties, and solve Maxwell's equations to characterize the response of the device. On this slide, we can see the simulation setup of the same ring resonator in FDTD solutions. Whereas in the component level solver, we may change the coupling coefficient between the straight waveguide and the ring by physically changing the gap distance between them, in interconnect, in the waveguide coupler element, we can simply type the updated coupling coefficient, which is one of the parameters of the element, and observe a change in the response. This is an optical simulation only, but later in the course we'll add electrical modulation and explore time domain simulations.